Hello everyone, I'm Nitin Saini. I'm a PhD student at the Proceeding Systems Department and I'll give a quick overview of the U-Simple plugin for Unreal Engine, which I wrote using Julia. With this plugin, you can put Simple in Unreal Engine projects and control it using ROS. So let me talk briefly about my work. I'm working on a multi-view markerless aerial mocap system. My colleagues developed the aerial vehicles, their motion planning algorithms, uh, such that the vehicles fly autonomously, following the person and avoiding obstacles. And my work is to develop methods that take in these uh, multi-view image sequences and gives the 4D pose and shape of the person. But there are various challenges. The data collection using this system is very difficult. We need to plan well in advance when to fly and do the necessary preparations. We need a clear sunny afternoon with no heavy winds. Uh, we need to get the flying permissions from the authorities. And even though the vehicles can fly themselves, we need a trained and a certified pilot on the ground for each vehicle. Uh, and if everything goes fine, we can collect the data using this, this system. But there is no other system which can be used easily uh, to get the reference uh, 3D pose of the person. That is why we need a realistic looking virtual world where we can fly our vehicles. Uh, we use Unreal Engine for this. Uh, it has amazing looking worlds where we can fly aerial vehicles using the AirSim plugin. Uh, but there is no human plugin available. And that is why I developed this U-Simple plugin. Uh, with this, we can put a human in these worlds and control its motion during runtime. Now a question arises, why use simple? Why not put a scanned avatar and stream the vertices displacement into the engine? Uh, the reason is we use ROS for communication between different modules. If we have to put an avatar in the scene, we need to stream thousands of vertices information every 1 60th of a second, which is not feasible. Uh, especially if different modules are running on different systems and the communication is happening over the network. So instead, we use uh, uh, simple uh, stream just the pose parameters and calculate the vertices on the unreal side. The simple pose parameters are just 72 float values. If we need the simple forward pass in unreal, we need to write in uh, C++. And I think people will agree with me, uh, nobody would like to write this code in C++. Especially Unreal C++, which is a little different than the normal uh, C++. And that is why I used Julia for this task. Julia is concise. Uh, it is very fast and it integrates very easily with C or C++ code. The final architecture is shown here. The simple parameters at every frame are received by the ROS integration plugin, uh, then passed on to the U-Simple plugin. The U-Simple plugin calls some Julia base code and the C-Simple module, which is the Julia implementation of simple. And then uh, it calculates the, um, the vertices. And here you can see the simple model in motion with texture on it. The motion sequence is taken from the Yamas dataset and published from outside the Unreal Engine. Uh, you can see that the person's back appears to be dark, and this is because the normals are not calculated properly. And in this scene, I put multiple simple models in the environment. Each model subscribed to a different ROS topic. Uh, you can put many instances at the same time, but after a limit, the performance starts to drop. Since it's a work in progress, few things are not working. Ideally, the normal should be recalculated every frame, but the Unreal inbuilt function for normals calculation is too slow. If I use it, the frame rate drops below 10 FPS. So I need to find a better way of calculating normals. Uh, the texture in the latest versions are not working. It will be fixed. Uh, I will also add the collision information in the future. Uh, so that the user will get feedback if the mesh collided with the scene. I'm also planning to support Unreal Engine 5. Uh, and the code right now is mess. Uh, there are no proper comments. 
uh, but the setup procedure for the plugin is documented and thank you very much uh, the repo is available on the github page of the robot perception group of the mpi and i can take the questions now